a Plague Tale Requiem game length to be 15 to 18 hours long with no filler. A Plague Tale Requiem story. At the end of the last game, Amisha and Hugo vanquished a twisted Grand Inquisitor to banish the plague of rats that Hugo had been able to control thanks to a bloodline curse, and while that seemed to bring life back to normal, things don't seem altogether solved. A Plague Tale fans hoping for a lengthy campaign in the long-awaited sequel, the A Plague Tale Requiem game length has been revealed, and fans will be happy to know that Asobo Studio has upped the time to complete it over the first game though not at the cost of packing it with unwanted fillers. How long is a Plague Tale Requiem? Speaking in the latest issue of Play Magazine, issue number 19, Asobo Studios' lead level designer Kevin Pinson revealed that players can expect a Plague Tale Requiem's campaign to run somewhere between 15 to 18 hours long. Do note that this suggested length is based from their own playthroughs, meaning it could potentially be shorter or longer depending on the player. From the information so far published about Requiem, it looks like the siblings, along with their mother Beatrice, will be traveling far to the south in hopes of finding a permanent cure for Hugo and simply to get away from a region that's wary of him. Whether they'll find any help or simply more powerful foes seeking to manipulate them isn't too hard to figure out and it looks like things are going to get fairly hectic for Amisha again. Of course, with the campaign being nearly double the length of the original, some of you may be thinking to yourselves that this means that the studio has padded the game for the sake of making it longer. Well, at least according to Kevin, that isn't the case, with publisher Focus Interactive even encouraging the team to make it however long they wanted, as long as they were able to tell the story that they wanted. It's about pacing, there's no filler, there's no trying to make it longer because we needed to, Pinson assures Play Magazine. Our publisher, Focus Interactive, encourages us to do the length that we want to do for the game for the story we want to tell. So we're not aiming for a specific amount of hours. This is not something that we take into account when we first design the game. We are a small team of 70 people, so we have to be really drastic about our choices. A Plague Tale, Requiem, Platforms The big news was that Requiem came to Xbox Game Pass on release day meaning you can play it at no extra cost, on both Xbox Series X and Series S. That doesn't mean it's an Xbox exclusive, though, it also released for PS5, Switch and PC. The Switch version of the game involves some cloud streaming, since it's graphically intensive, and the game also didn't out for either the PS4 or Xbox One, making it a next-gen experience. A Plague Tale, Requiem Gameplay in June 2022, we got plenty of footage of actual gameplay from Requiem, thanks to a proper reveal live stream from Focus Entertainment, and it looks like it's clearly building on the first game. We can see that a few staples from Innocence are back in Requiem. You'll play primarily as a Misha, armed with a sling, a new crossbow, and some slinky stealth skills, moving around areas populated by more powerful enemies and guards. We'll have to use fire and light to escape them once more, but, with Hugo on the scene, the gameplay demos have already made it clear that we'll use the rats to our own purposes plenty as well. Impressively, a recent blog post confirmed that the number of rats being rendered is going from 5,000 at once in the first game to a crazy 300,000 in Requiem that sounds like it could be pretty terrifying.